What's up, you guys? My name is Michael, and I'm a nursing student. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how I passed the ATITs. All right, so I passed the ATITs test in May 2019, uh, where I took it the first time, and then I also took it again this year in January 2020 before I applied to nursing programs in February. And surprisingly, that score was uh, significantly lower than my first attempt. So we're going to be talking about my first attempt and why I got a better score in that compared to my second one. And also, I'm going to be, uh, be giving you guys a tips and advice on what I could have done better uh, on taking my ATITs test and what you guys could do to improve your test or probably just if you've never taken it before, what to expect when taking the ATITs test for your nursing program. All right, so what I did to prepare for the test was I set uh, a test date which was specific to what I wanted it to be. And I knew I wasn't gonna um, rush when studying and I knew I was gonna be prepared for that day. And there was no distractions that were gonna go on uh, the day before or the day after. And so I set my test date in May 11, 2019, the end of my spring semester, uh, when I was taking anatomy, physiology, uh, second part, and then uh, three other classes, which were super easy, but when I took it May 11th, uh, two weeks after that, I had my AMP final for that class. Uh, I was going into the final with like a high A, like a 97 or 96, something like that. And I was already doing good in the class and I wasn't gonna struggle in the final. I knew I wasn't gonna struggle in the final, but I still tried my hardest and I, I grinded so hard that semester, it was crazy. I was studying like crazy and doing uh, so much work. And I was also working uh, part-time as well. so. Uh, I had a lot going on, but I was able to manage it. So you want to know what's best for you. Uh, probably the most important tip to write, uh, set a date for your T's test uh, that is important for you to be prepared for and you won't have any distractions. Uh, for, as for me, some people thought I was crazy when I would set my T's test date uh, two weeks before the final because we just got done with the reproductive system and the endocrine system. I figured my brain was fresh on anatomy physiology, which I knew was gonna be my hardest uh, T's test subject because there's four T's test subjects. There is reading, math, science, and uh, English. I thought science would be my worst uh, subject I would do in. So that's why I set that date um, in the middle of uh, AMP. And instead of taking it in summer when there's no distractions, I knew I wasn't gonna do good in studying because I know myself, I know, I know I'm gonna be home in summer uh, not studying as well. And it would be, it's different than studying at home than compared to school environment. So that's why I test, uh, set my T's test date in May 11, 2019. Uh, people still thought I was crazy and they thought I would be, wouldn't get a good score. I got an okay score of a 79.9. I wasn't hoping for that uh, for my first attempt. Uh, so people said it was good for the first attempt, uh, but I thought I could have done better um, just because I didn't uh, expect my reading score to be as low as I thought I would be. I thought my uh, science score would be really low, but it was actually my reading. I was bamboozled. I didn't know what to expect. So yeah, anyways, uh, second tip I recommend for you guys is to have uh, these two books, the ATIT Secrets, and then also the ATIT's Manual. This is the sixth edition. Uh, this one I consider optional. If you guys don't want to spend too much money, uh, just spend your money on this one. This one's like $30, I believe. Or 25 and then this one should be about $20 on the T's website but this one I recommend because it has uh, three um, tests that you guys can take study tests that are basically like the T's except it's just paper and pencil and also it's very thick it has a lot of information and I would say the only difference between this book and the T's manual is that the T's manual the math section is a bit better than the ATIT secrets just because it has more problems where it really goes into detail and the math section it describes all the math problems that you're going to come against against the t's and i saw more of these math problems in the t's when i was taking it twice than the t secrets which was surprising to me so yeah i only think the math section is really good in here but you could also look at this math section. It's the same thing. It's just the math problems aren't as detailed. And I didn't see that much of the math problems in here in the secrets on the T's webs and the T's test when I took it. But I recommend this book more than the T's manual, uh, not just for its price. Uh, it is more pricey, but 
it does come with a lot more detail. It actually gives you um, more detail than the T's manual, especially in the AMP and the science section. You guys, it's like uh, taking high school science or high school AMP compared to like college AMP. Uh, there's more detail in here, it goes into specific uh, anatomy and physiology. And then also the reading section, it gives you more short stories and it gives you a sample of questions of what to expect on the T's test. So this book is the way to go and it's, it's not actually mine, so I'm just borrowing that. But anyways, so another uh, tip I have for you guys is to uh, know your weakest subject and what you expect to be your weakest subject. For me, I thought it was my uh, AMP. This is my uh, AMP part two notes. This is AMP part one. I would uh, go over this every single day along with the T Secrets book to go over uh, all the systems I thought would be on the um, T test. So I've been watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos um, and I've heard from other people, heard from other people who have taken the test within my class. So I thought I would uh, know that the AMP portion was going to be the hardest portion for me, but it actually wasn't. Like I said, it surprised me, but uh, I would just go over my notes in here um, and I would just go over them, uh, rewrite them on another piece of paper and then just continue to do that for at least two months straight. And then uh, I made sure I had enough time to study. And so I was prepared for the AMP portion, but I was not prepared for the reading section. So what I did to study for the reading section was all I did was just read the short stories in here and then just go off of that and then answer them in the um, the three uh, T's tests that you guys could take in here. And it wasn't that much of a help uh, other than trying to see what's like in between the lines. That's what you guys really need to do for the reading section. You guys need to go um, off of the story and not off of what you know. So say like, they give you a short story and you say, oh, it's about science. I know about that. You guys want to go off of the story, not off of what you know from class. And basically, I I totally mis uh, let, I was misled, uh, misled. And I knew that they were going to do that when I was taking the reading portion because it's the first um, section that you guys taking the T's test. But yeah, I just, I got a low score on that portion. I got like a 69. A percentile or a 70 percentile in the reading section something like that and then um, also I got a 98 in the math and then science section I got a 90 and then in the writing or in the English I should have got like a it was like a high 70s like a 78 79 something like that but yeah those are my estimates of score I don't know what it's exactly like but it's around there so that's how I got a 79.9 in advanced score for the ATIT's test for my first attempt. For my second attempt, I got a, a low score. I'm not even going to say it because uh, it's just too embarrassing. It's just it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, so I got that score in uh, January 2020 when I was taking. Uh, actually, I wasn't even in class yet. Actually, yeah, I think I was. I was thinking I think I was taking a. Uh, my last science class, uh, microbiology, I was working full time as a knock shift CNA and I was taking another class as well online. So uh, I wasn't really focused. I wasn't in a good environment in uh, that situation at the time. So I wasn't prepared as I was before. So thank God I took it uh, when I was taking AMP because I lost all my AMP um, uh, knowledge, as you could say, because uh, I wasn't refreshed as so much, even from studying from these the ATIT secret and the manual and my notes. I wasn't in the same uh, mindset as I was in the spring semester of 2019. So yeah, that's why I took it in 2019, uh, the end of uh, two weeks before my final, which was crazy. I even thought it was crazy. But anyways, uh, another tip for you guys to study from uh, when taking the ATIT's test is that you guys wanna be prepared and be healthy. Uh, make sure you guys have a healthy meal Say if you're taking it in the morning, you guys want to have a healthy breakfast. If you don't eat breakfast, that's whatever. That's what, that's what you do. Uh, I took it in the morning. I had a healthy breakfast. Also, you want to, you guys want to make sure that you guys go to the testing uh, site that you guys are going to go to. Say you've never been there before or say you have been there before. 
you guys want to get in the mindset if there's going to be traffic or not you guys want to be less stressed uh the less stress the more better you're going to do because uh, like i can imagine if you're, you don't know where you're going uh, it's your first time going there you're going to be really stressed out finding parking uh almost being late something like that could happen so you guys want to be there early get there on time and uh, just prepare yourself uh, again that mind zone listen to music do whatever you got to do to get you in that zone that's and also i recommend uh watching other people's videos on uh passing the atit's test because you guys want to get other people's perspectives and it's good to learn from others and just take other people's advice and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them down below i'll try to reply to them as soon as i can and make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video if you guys liked it i'll see you guys later thanks for watching peace